while the Biden administration responds to Elon Musk purchasing Twitter and expands the reach of the Department of Homeland Security. So they appear to be worried about this for some reason. But remember, as you and I know, those people, any of the elites, well, I don't like that word. I never have liked that word. Any ultra super wealthy person on the planet and the federal government, we don't necessarily take them at face value, do we? So while it is interesting that Elon purchased Twitter, I'm still skeptical to be honest, right? I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, right? But the Biden administration appears to be, you know, worried about it. Biden administration talking about launching a new board to police disinformation. I'm reading here in an article from American Military News, and I'll put the description down below. This is pretty interesting. The title is called Biden Department of Homeland Security Creates New Board to Police Disinformation. Now, as a side note, you remember the Department of Homeland Security, don't you? That was the whole new department, no small undertaking, that was created under the Bush administration, Bush 2, right, after 9-11, to help us police our homeland, right? Make no mistake about it, right? That's no joke, and there is a whole bunch of fishy, funny business going on there. Department of Homeland Security, strange. That's a topic for another video that I may cover down the road, but let me read this article to you. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security, the DHS, under President Joe Biden, is starting a new office it says will focus on countering misinformation and disinformation. Let me stop right here for a moment. The Biden administration, the same administration that can't solve or fix any problem right now, foreign or domestic, is starting a new department. I'll let you wrap your mind around that. On Wednesday, Politico first reported the DHS was establishing an office called the Disinformation Governance Board. That sounds really official. As I continue here, Politico reported the new board will focus specifically on misinformation and disinformation about irregular migration from Russia. Whatever. <laughs> Gosh. Gas prices through the roof, inflation through the roof, crime rampant in some states, a foreign policy that is in shambles, a domestic policy that's in shambles. Did I mention inflation? I, I don't know where this, this administration gets their, gets their, uh, uh, where they get their, decide what problems to tackle in the world, but this wasn't even a problem and they're tackling it, let alone the problems that we, you and I, as real Americans, are facing on a daily basis. Apparently, those problems aren't on the radar. Let me continue here. Cats out of the bag. Here's what I've been up to for the past two months and why I've been a bit quiet on here. Janowski tweeted, Honored to be serving in the Biden administration at DHSGov and helping shape our counter-disinformation efforts. Yeah, that's a great... I'm happy you got that great position. I'm sure it pays very well and puts you in a in a nice place in our world. Great, honest. Here's the here's the that's the tweet that she wrote. Here's my official portrait to grab your attention. Jankowski Jankows Jankowicz Jankowicz, excuse me, I'm mispronouncing that. Said in a subsequent subsequent tweet, now that I've got it, a huge focus of our work, and indeed one of the key reasons the board was established, is to maintain the department's commitment to protecting free speech, privacy, civil rights, and civil liberties. Side note, anytime your government says they're here to help you run as fast as you can the other way. End side note. As I continue here, quoting again, more to come as we dig into the big job ahead. For now, thanks for the support, she added, end quote. <laughs> awesome. Jankowicz previously worked as a disinformation fellow at the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars and advised the Ukrainian Foreign Ministry on its communication strategy as part of the Fulbright Public Policy Fellowship, previously known as the Fulbright Clinton Public Fet Policy Fellowship. 
Anytime you hear the word Clinton, you know they're up to no good with that. She also oversaw democracy outreach programs in Russia and Belarus while working at the National De Democratic Institute. Jankowicz also authored the 2020 book, How to Lose the Information War, Russia Fake News and the Future of Conflict and How to Be a Woman Online, Surviving Abuse and Harassment and How to Fight Back out this month. Seems like things are all working out very nicely for her. The stars are aligning, gets this great job, has these two books on deck, Sounds like she's going to make out pretty well. Four people who are buying this stuff. I'm not one of them. Let me continue here. In the prologue of How to Lose the Information War, Jankowicz wrote, Election meddling wasn't the only reason Donald Trump won the 2016 election, but it was a significant contributing factor. And wrote that Trump used the term fake news to describe any narrative they find politically inconvenient. Ahead of the 2020 election, Jankowicz authored an op-ed in the Atlantic titled, Trump's version of poll watching sounds like thuggery. In response to a November 2021 report about Trump allies endorsing supporters to fill local election board seats throughout the country, Jankowicz retweeted the op-ed with the caption, Yep, sadly I feared this would happen when the Trump campaign injected violence into election observation last year. Now, far from just sending observers, they're infecting the process itself. In September 2020, amid weeks of riots in Portland, Oregon, in which participants set fire in and around police buildings, Jankowicz tweeted, Trump talking about how he could put out, put out that fire in Portland is the language of authoritarianism. It meets the violence, it means the violence clearing of protest doors, arrest without caution, abuse of human rights, that's not law enforcement, that's lawlessness. On Wednesday, DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas told the House Subcommittee on Homeland Security Appropriations that DHS under, under Stra Secretary for Strategy, Policy and Plans Robert Silvers and DHS Principal Deputy General Counsel General Gaskill will also lead the agency's just recently constituted misinformation, disinformation governance board. Can you imagine? being into this like this is complex at to say the least and fishy to say the worst let's talk about simplicity and complexity before i wrap up this video life should be moving towards simplicity it should not be moving to more complexity it should not be mo moving towards more governance right more freedom is what we need in order to have more prosperity and abundance in the world this whole thing, a new government agency inside of an already bloated government, has no bueno written all over it. Leave me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your thoughts are. And until next time, I wish you all the best, health, wealth, and success. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Before I let you go, I want to share one of my products with you, and that is the Focus and Flow Journaling Practice. You can find out more at gmarkphillips.com courses. What it is currently in beta mode, which is you and I on a recorded Zoom call, eventually it will become a destination course that'll be a, a full course. But right now it's in beta mode as I work toward creating that course. It is essentially a two-part journaling system. Part one helps you feel good instantaneously, immediately, right now. Part two is a scripting component that helps you get a large amount of clarity around what it is you want to be, do, and have in life. You could call it like your vision, your dream, your purpose, your passion. You can find out more at gmarkphillips.com courses. I'd love to have you check it out, and I'd love to share this with you. It's super awesome, and if you don't like it, 100% money back guarantee gmarkphillips.com slash courses. Until next time, I wish you all the best, health, wealth, and success. Bye-bye.